months of work for me to complete. My friends may be here any moment. I need to wind up with the work. What are you doing, Hajra? I am preparing a yummy delicious biryani for you all. Wow! Why do you require all these things? We require these things as it makes the biryani delicious. The ingredients that I am using are some vegetables like potatoes, tomatoes and some spices. Oh! Hajira, will you clarify, please? Yeah, sure. For preparing biryani, these many things we require? Yes, of course. Then what about the plants? What ingredients, what components plants require then? Even plants require many components for preparing their food. Let's Compon Components means like potato, mm -hmm. like tomato. We will see what are those components. Okay. Plants are of absolute necessity for life on earth. Plants are producers. They make their own food which creates energy for them to grow, reproduce and survive. They are the only living things on earth that can make their own source of food energy. So what are the components required for preparing their food? Water, carbon dioxide, chlorophyll and sunlight are the components needed by the plants to prepare their food. The first component for preparing food is water. Plant is firmly held in the soil by the help of roots. They absorb water and minerals from the soil through tiny tubes called xylem. Water later moves from stem to leaves. Then leaves absorb water and use it for the preparation of food. Next component is sunlight. Sunlight is a key source of energy for all plants. Sun gives energy to the green plants that provide food and oxygen for life on earth. Plants absorb energy from the sun which fuels the metabolic activities necessary for survival. Next important component required by the plants for preparing food is chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is also called as green pigment. It is present in chloroplast. Chlorophyll is responsible for making plants green in color. Chlorophyll is a photoreceptor which absorbs light energy from sunlight and provides this energy to the plant for preparing food. Hence, it is acting as a catalyst for preparing food in plants. The next component of food is carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide enters the leaf of a plant through small pores called stromata. When the guard cells open the stromata, the carbon dioxide enters into the plant and the process of preparing food begins. During this process of preparing food, the plant combines the carbon dioxide and water in the chloroplast cell in the presence of sunlight. So this process where the plants combine carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. This whole process is a chemical reaction where the molecules of CO2 and H2O combines to form a new product called glucose. Once the process is done, the plant releases oxygen into the surrounding air and the glucose is used by the plant for the growth and nourishment. Extra glucose is stored in different parts of the plant that we human beings and animals use as food. Plants, they are not only preparing food for us, but they are also controlling global warming and making this world a better place to live. Let us perform a small activity to show the presence of starch in food prepared by the plants. For this activity, we require for this, we require a potato, iodine solution, iodine solution, dropper, and knife or blade.
plate let us let us start the activity take a potato and cut it into two halves then take a iodine solution with the help of a dropper and two drops of it onto the potato we observe that potato changes its color to bluish black it shows the presence of starch in potato that we get from the plants